Hey divas, so in today's video, I am here to share with you guys this simple glam. I think it would be perfect for the holidays and everything, and I also wanted to find a way to incorporate this new Senna Lip Paint by Rihanna. This is the one in Uncensored, and I know you guys have probably seen this a million times, but I wanted to come and share this with my lovely divas. So yeah, if you guys are interested, then go ahead and stay tuned. So before we go ahead and go on, I did want to go ahead and send out a shout out to my Snapchat family. I uh, recently lost my dog. He did pass away and I posted on Snapchat because I was getting questions as to why I didn't post videos last week. And I did go on there and say that. I did go on there and share that with you guys, what I was going through. And the amount of love that I got was incredible. And I just want to say thank you guys very, very much. Thank you so much for your condolences. Everything, nothing went unnoticed. Everything is appreciated. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You guys are really comforting me and helping me to cope with what I'm going through. And I just greatly appreciate it. And I just could not, you know, not say thank you. And if you guys are not following me on Snapchat, then definitely follow me there because I... We'll post something quick on there if I'm going through something or if you guys don't see me upload, I will probably post something on there to let you guys know what's going on. But anywho, divas, so let's get into this video. Okay, divas, so let's jump right into the Simple Glam. So I'm just going to be priming my face and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Primer. I've been absolutely loving this primer. I didn't know how I really felt about it at first, but I definitely fell in love with it after using it like 10 more times. So yeah, I'm just going to prime my face and then set it with the Black Opal um, Oil Blocking Powder. Everything will be listed in the description box below because I guarantee I won't remember everything while I'm doing this voiceover. But anywho, let's move on to brows and this has been my favorite brow pencil and this is the Brow Sculptor by Black Radiance. I absolutely love this brow pencil. If you guys have not tried this out, I definitely recommend it. It's so, so nice. I have like six on backup. Like this makes it so easy for you to do your brows and you could just like you can have a dramatic brow, you can have a a simple brow, a regular brow, like it's so easy to create. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and outline my brows as you guys seen already and I just filled them in and blended that out. So now I'm gonna clean up with some concealer and I believe this is in toast. Don't quote me, everything will be in the description box below. But yeah, I'm just gonna clean up my brows and then I'm gonna blend it out with this e.l.f. brush which I absolutely love. I believe it's like um, a contour brush, I think. That's what it's called, but I love to blend my concealer with it. So now I'm gonna go in and color correct with this NYX concealer. Um, just color and correcting, of course, my dark areas so that um, my lipstick, for one, won't look crazy because that'll really heighten the darkness around your lip when you wear a red lip and you didn't color correct. So now I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty foundation and I've been loving this foundation as well it's a perfect match I know it's pulling super warm on me at first but once I blend it in it's like amazing I really really love this foundation and it's super easy to blend um it does, does dry fast so if you have this foundation make sure that you are just doing one side of your face at a time I am a slow blender so yeah so I'm gonna take this concealer by Fenty Beauty as well and just go ahead and highlight, you know, all the points I want to bring out in my face, which is my under eyes, down the bridge of my nose, forehead, cupid bow, chin. And I'm also going to go ahead and take that onto my eyelid as well, as we will not be wearing any eyeshadow. So that's why um, I did that. And I normally will put a concealer there anyways, even if I am going to wear eyeshadow. But I just wanted to brighten up my eye area in preparation for later so yeah now i'm just going in and blending out all the harsh lines it's important that you do that and then i'm going to go in with my laura mercier um medium deep powder just to go ahead and set underneath my eye and everywhere where i place the highlighting concealer and i'm also going to place that on my eyes as well just to set them and so they won't crease if i did add the concealer and i don't bake for that long so i'm just going to go ahead and wipe all of that powder away because we definitely don't need it and I really love this powder too. I don't know why I didn't show it in, but I really do love this powder. So next I'm going to go in and contour with the Fenty Beauty contour stick as well. And I know I sh don't really need to contour around my forehead, especially because of my hairline. But I just like to do it anyways because I don't know. I feel like it's incomplete if I don't. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with a stippling brush. It's easy for me to blend out my contour with a stippling brush. I don't know why. It just really works for me. 
so I'm just going to use whatever was left on the bridge of my nose just to contour because I don't like it to be too harsh and now I'm gonna go in with this MAC blush to set my contour this is my absolute favorite especially if you are darker in skin tone like me like you like this will really really work either this one or sketch I think it's antique velvet or I don't know I forgot the name I, like I said everything will be in the description box below but yeah, and whatever's left, I just use that to go and bring up my nose. And then I'm just going to go ahead and finish setting. And now I'm just going to take some of that and put it into the crease of my eye. And this is just going to give the illusion that I put a little bit of eyeshadow on and I tried to create a little look, but I really didn't. This is what like my go-to. I always do that. <laughs> so now I'm going to take this highlighter um in cinnamon by fenty beauty and i'm just going to place it in all the areas where i like to highlight and i'm going to take my anastasia beverly hills a23 brush and i'm going to blend that out a little bit and then i'm going to go in with the jackie ina lebron's um artist couture collaboration uh highlighter who that was a lot highlighter um in lebron's and i'm just going to go ahead and set those areas i think these two look absolutely gorgeous together gives you like that perfect but subtle glow and then i'm going to go in with blush which is my favorite blush toasted almond by black radiance just to warm up my face and now i'm going to put on my mascara this is two face better than sex mascara in preparation for my lashes i'm going to use these mink lashes by be bella cosmetics and these are in the style bay and then i'm going to go ahead and apply some lebrons to the inner portion of my tear duct area to also make it seem like i did more than i actually did and to just give it a little sparkle and pop there and then i'm just going to be adding some mascara to my lower lashes and now the main attraction of this whole makeup look the lips so i'm just lining my lips with max night moth and of course i'm going to be going in with the fenty beauty lipstick um the uncensored lip paint and i really do like this lip paint um one thing i did notice is the fact that it's not um it's not like transfer proof i did test it out when i wore it before so yeah it's not transfer proof but it does dry down to a matte um it's like a soft matte and that's what i like about it too um because it's not like that crinkly make your lips want to crack off <laughs> so yeah i do really like it um it is a little bit too tomatoey for my liking so i'm just gonna go back in um with my night moth pencil and kind of line it and make it look good on me you know everything doesn't you can't always just put on a red lipstick um and just look good so yeah i'm just gonna go back in and line it and that's pretty much it divas um that is some simple holiday glam that you guys can do when you want to make it seem like you did something and you still want to be like just simply glam then i think that this is a perfect look i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and are happy and excited about makeup looks when you back but be sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe and i'll see you divas in the next one bye